Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to some more Endless Scrap Mechanic. It's time for Top of the Shop, and the reason why I am currently hanging out in my research ship is because it is currently number one on the workshop. So I just wanted to take a moment to thank everybody for checking out this build. In case you missed the video, I'm going to leave a link up in the top corner of the screen. You can check out this research ship with deployable submarine after this video. Now, there's a lot of really cool builds to check out this week, so let's get started. Started. We're going to start this week off with a Blue Demon 4.5 created by Echo 45X. So I guess this is a double wishbone suspension vehicle and yeah, look at that. I love looking at suspension in scrap mechanic. Now it also looks like we've got some thrusters there for some boost capabilities and here is that wishbone suspension in the back and look at the usage of these like curved wedge blocks. They have such an interesting effect when they're used uh, not against other blocks. All right, so let's hop into this buggy here. Let's take it for a little rip and see what this is all about. So the suspension seems to be pretty stiff in design, but it does take those random bumps really well. And those are the things that are going to get you in scrap mechanic is those like inconsistencies like that when you're trying to drive. But this thing is really well balanced. And you can see that suspension working really well there. So it seems like one is the headlights. And okay, those look like black lights. So they might not really illuminate much. And then we also have two, which is, oh yeah, it is those booster thrusters there. So let's try that out. Oh, wow. Okay, this thing handles really well. Oh man, wow. Okay, can't correct the drive oh man this thing is awesome so if you're looking for a great example on double wishbone suspension and you want to try some of that stuff out for yourself then i really suggest you check this thing out on the steam workshop next up we're going to be taking a look at the sss which i guess stands for special spaceship now this was created by ben ergendwas so this is a spaceship it's got loads of thrusters here and um I guess we're just gonna try and take this into the air. Looks like this must be the switch to enter. Okay, yeah, there it is. We've got a really awesome little ramp right here. And oh man, okay, so it like it's like it brings us directly into like a storage area. So let's see here. We got a hallway that leads to another space. Oh wow, man, this thing is decked out on the inside here. Wow, okay, whoa. That was kind of weird. Okay, we got a bed. A little elevator as well, so that might be how we're gonna go up. Oh wow, there's another staircase on this side. And it looks like we also have a kind of wash place as well, right on. Okay, so I guess we're gonna try and take this elevator right here. Let's press the switch. Ooh, okay, where are we now? Okay, no wait, we're on the top of the ship. Never mind, go back now. Now I'll be honest, I really didn't read the instructions, but I think we should be able to figure this out. Okay, so we got one and we are slowly going up into the air. Okay, wow, this is a very smooth flight so far. So can we see the steering? Okay, yeah, we got some steering here. Okay, hold on. I'm slowly leaning backwards now. So I think I'm just gonna turn on all the switches. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm turning them all on. Okay, now it feels like we're steadying out. Um, we're still kind of leaning back and we're slowly going down, but here we go. We are now controlling the ship. Let's take a look at the first person. Oh, man. All right, we're going to try and bring it down right here at this water. I don't know if it's going to be a good landing or not. Let's get those landing legs out. There we go. And like I said, I can't really control the pitch or anything. So I guess we're just going to go down right here. Okay, this might work out really well. This is the luckiest landing imaginable wow all right so we're at the water now and we've got a speedboat created by colorful cat now i'm pretty sure this should work on the uh, creative mode water here so why don't we just spawn it in there we go oh yeah look at that it's floating rather nicely so let's hop inside here now this thing is looking really awesome the first person view is so good and i can press w to go forward so we don't even need to use a switch and we've got some really awesome modded little uh propellers in the back there man wow okay this thing looks like it's fast so let's just try these switches out here and we're gonna see what's going on these are modded switches so okay whoa hold on do you see that we got output power okay so the power is going up and down wow so we can drop it down to what can we go to zero we can so if i press w there's no speed at all then we go up to 10 percent 20 
30, 40, 50. So I did some testing and it seems like three is basically like a kill switch of sorts. So you press it and then you just stop moving. Now I think that's what that's for, but it, it seems to be working that way. Now this is just a really cool build. The amount of control that you have over your speed and maneuverability in this thing is so well done. And let's just take a ride in first person here. Okay, that sounds terrible. So we're just gonna keep on stepping it up here and we are starting to flip. Oh my God, that's a boating accident right there all right next up we've got a crane created by Tom Tom and aqua zero now I'm guessing I'm probably gonna have to weld this thing to the ground but oh man it's looking really cool. So we're gonna go up the ramp here and it looks like this is a lift to get all the way up to the top so I guess we'll just go inside it here and we're gonna press that now I wonder what is making this go up right now I don't hear any pistons or anything. Maybe we'll be able to kind of take a look at it once we get all the way up. Now this looks, wow, I just realized these are all custom frame pieces. I thought they were maybe like uh, one of the built-in frame pieces that you can get in the game, but these are all individual pipes that have been placed. Wow, that's so good. So we're at the top now and there's a ladder right there. Now this, this doesn't seem right. That looks way too dangerous, but there is a switch. What's that gonna do? Okay, it's putting the ladder up. I guess we'll just drop the ladder back down again. And, whoa, wait a second, it's doing something different. There's pistons. Oh, okay, so the ladder is in the right spot now. Perfect. So let's climb the ladder. There we go. We are now at the top of the crane. Here is the control room. So this is the view from all the way at the top and it looks so good. This crane is so well made. All of these custom pipe structures look really good as well. So let's try this out though. We're gonna press some switches. Okay, two. Look at that. Two is leaning us forward so we can get a really good view of what we would be picking up with our little crane hook there. Okay, so if I press A and D, that is what is going to rotate the crane properly. Now this is interesting. So it is using some modded pieces for these controls here, but this is slowly turning. It's working. And I did have some stuff moving here. Okay, there we go. Look at that. You can see I can drop the hook all the way down. If I press five, it brings it up again. So it seems like the forward and backwards function of the crane is just not working. Now I saw it move once really quickly and then it just stopped working again. So I'm not too sure if maybe there's some friction problems or if there is just an issue with all of the modded logic. But it does seem like the crane's ability to lower down the hook as well as retrieve it again is working just fine, which is a shame. I really do wish I was able to move this hook out um, effectively. Now, despite that minor issue, I still think this build is phenomenal and I highly suggest you check this thing out on the Steam Workshop. And here we have a Peugeot 9x8 created by Valiant. Now, as far as I'm aware, this is like a concept car and this thing looks so cool. It seems to be all vanilla as well. And look at that, the window usage right here looks awesome. So we're gonna hop into the driver's seat. I guess there's like a little hole right here that you can look at to hop inside. And okay, well, <laughs> this car is a little bit of a tight fit, but I mean, I love having that cool breeze run through my hair as I drive around. So let's go for a little spin here. Okay, well, it's handling really well. There's no buttons or switches. So we're just gonna be driving this thing, but it's really, really stable. Now, I don't even think there's any suspension whatsoever in this thing, and it's extremely low to the ground, and I'm surprised that we're not kind of getting high centered in the middle here, which is interesting, but this car is really reliable. All right, so we're gonna head back out onto the water. This is a pirate ship created by Big Floppa. Now, I haven't really built a pirate ship or anything yet, and that's another one of those creations that I am looking forward to doing in Scrap Mechanic. Now, okay, this doesn't look like it's gonna float on the water, but I guess we're gonna give it a shot here. Okay, well, I stand corrected. This thing is floating. Now, it is kind of eating up some of my frames, but you know what? That's to be expected on such an epic build. So I'm gonna try and climb this ladder here to get on. Now, I gotta say, this is a very dangerous deck to be on. There's no railings or guards at all on this, so if you're, like, on some rough seas, you might be going overboard here. 
Now, before we take this thing for a joyride in the water, let's just take a look around here. Okay, so this is definitely the captain's quarters. But look at that, they're collecting ducks as well. So they sail the seven seas in search of ducks. And wow, look at these windows. So from the captain's quarters, we can go down a deck here. And look at that, we've got even more cannons. Wow, and look, we even have a basket of cannonballs. Oh man, that is looking really cool. I'm loving all of these lights as well. I, in my imagination, I would kind of pretend that they're like candles or lamps of sorts. You know, like an oil lamp, because it is, of course, an old-time pirate ship. And look at that, we even have some cannons here. I think this is the front, is it? Yeah. We've got some cannons on the front as well. Now, the cannons on the front here don't have a connection point on these buttons, so they seem to be just, like, manually controlled. So let's try and... Oh. Okay, well, it's not connected at all. All right, now, let's try and shoot this cannon. Oh my... Whoa! Whoa! That is a powerful cannon. I can't even see what we're shooting at right now. Now, look at this. There's even cannonballs here in the sleeping quarters. You never know when you got to grab a cannonball on the go. Now, I know what you're dying to see because I also really want to see it, and that is all of those side cannons in action. So let's try this out here. We're going to take aim at the land and try and see what happens. So here we go. Oh, wow, wow. I just took a tree out. Look at this. There's a tree falling in the distance. Oh, my God. That's so cool. All right. I've got my research ship there in the water. I want to see some destruction with this. So let's line up the ship. Now, the only reason why this is possible is because of the new clear all command, which is very useful when you cause a lot of damage. So here we go. We're going to try and line this up just like so. We're going to take aim and fire. Oh, my. Look at that. Wow! Let's take another shot! Oh, what a volley! Oh my god, that's so cool. Okay, one more, and then we're gonna take a look at the damage. Oh my god, okay, wait, no, hold on. We gotta hit that submarine a little bit, too. Another hit? Oh, wow, okay. That is so cool. Alright, we're gonna swim over here. We're gonna take a look at that damage. Oh my god. Now, if you want to see what it looked like originally, then just go check out that video that I mentioned. You'll see what this looked like when it wasn't in pieces. Oh my god, look, there's even like a loose piece of paneling there. Oh my god, look, it's like a nice cross-section of the bridge, though. And then over here, we have the submarine. Oh, wow, it took a lot of damage. Even the, uh, the entire crane mechanism, look at that. It just got destroyed. And next up on the lift, it looks like we've got a mech. This is the RAG-3 created by Kijikyo. So, I love mechs in Scrap Mechanic. We've seen some mechs before in Top of the Shop, and this might be from a similar creator. So yeah, I went back up through the list, and this is another mech created by someone that was in Top of the Shop before, so they are really talented at building these mechs here. And this one just looks so cool. Look at that, it's got like a... Looks like some type of cyclops eye up there as well. Oh man, so well designed. Look at that, I even noticed there is a plunger there, but you wouldn't even see it because it just looks like part of this mechanical build. Now let's take this for a little bit of a jog here, there we go. Nice stepping animation, and that is using that same wheel system as well. Now let's see, if this is like the first mech that we saw before from the same creator, one should fly us a little bit here, yep. Oh wow, look at that. It's so stable, and it look, it brings the feet out. No way, it brings the feet out when it sees the ground and it wants to land. That is amazing. So let's press these buttons here. We got two, okay, whoa, two is like a, a crazy thruster on the back. Three is, oh, three is gonna pick us back up again if we fall on our face. And then we've got four, which is our spud gun. And then five is, ooh, what is, oh, whoa. That looks really cool. So this, that looks like a, like some type of melee weapon, I guess, or something, you know? It's like a... It has like a really good uppercut kind of motion there. Now, one of the coolest things I just noticed is, look at this. You can see the little mechanic hand sticking out right there. And the mechanic's head is up in that eye spot. So it's like you're really just inside of this suit of armor. It's just so well designed. Like, I am just... 
I'm just so impressed by these things. They're so well done. Now this thing looks like it's really armored, but I might have the thing we need to take it down. So what we're gonna be using to destroy that well-armored mech is the Big Mama Bomb created by Rocky049. Now, I mean, it's a bomb. Okay, here we go. This is the first test of the Big Mama Bomb. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's spinning. Oh, it's spinning really fast. It's going up. Okay, I've lost sight of it. I can't see it. Where did it go? Um, I guess it just went into the air. Oh my. And next up, we're gonna be taking a look at another build from Rocky049. This is the B Roomba 3.0. Now, the B stands for block. So this thing will clean up blocks for you. Now, I guess we should probably build a room for this thing. Okay, there we go. We got ourselves a nice and simple room for the Roomba. Now, I guess I want to pick up scrap metal. You know, you're always building, you got scrap metal everywhere. So that's what we're going to be using today for this Roomba. What I'm going to do is just going to put a whole bunch of these loose blocks around, and I guess we're going to see this robot clean it up. So let's start the robot up. Now, this first one here is a freebie. Oh my, look at that. It just ate it. It got a freebie one. Where's it going now? I don't want to get in the way of the sensors. Okay, there's a block. We can probably just ride this thing too. There it goes. It just ate another block. Uh-oh. It's getting to the wall. It's moving away from the wall. I'm not sure if it's capable of really mapping anything out or if it's just going to kind of keep moving the, through the uh, perimeter here, but it seems like it kind of just keeps on slowly doing like 90 degree turns. So I'm wondering, is it going to get those blocks in the middle? Oh, oh, look at this. It's grabbing another one. It got another block. It just ate it. That nice tasty piece of scrap metal. So here's a row of blocks ready for this vacuum to eat up. So here we go. Let's watch it happen. Oh, there goes one and two. Yum, 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 yum. Three, four. Oh, it just lost that one. It's gonna grab that one though. Oh wait, it got kicked out. Uh-oh. Okay, it's gonna eat another one. Maybe it's getting a little full. Now another really cool thing about this build is you have access to its holding spot right there behind it. So you can go in and you can delete the blocks as it's eating them up, you know, just in case you ever need to empty out your Roomba. Now another funny thing you can do with this is you can pick it up on the lift and once you do that, look at that, you'll see all of the blocks on the inside of it just drop to the ground. So for this next build, we have to go out into the water. Now this isn't a boat, it's not anything on land. This is a submarine stealth Kotsaka Tomahawk Missili created by Z-Man2255. So this is a submarine. Now I'm wondering if I just spawn it in, is it just going to stay floating right here? Okay, nope, it is going to the surface. So let's make our way up onto the top here. Now, is there an entrance? What is this? Okay, no, that's an electric engine right there. Where do I go to get in? This looks like it might be it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, look at that. Okay, there's a lot of water inside. A lot of water inside here. This whole thing is sinking. And it seems like this is our driver's seat. Let's hop inside here. Now, there's only four buttons and switches. I don't know what they're gonna do, so let's try this out. We got one. Okay, one is forward thrust. I guess we should probably try A and D. Okay, whoa. Look at the amount of speed on that turning. That is impressive. So we can turn with A and D. We can't really go forward or backwards with it. Okay, and then two. Ah, oh, look at that. Two is to submerge yourself underwater. Here we go. We're going down into the depths. What does four do? Whoa! It just sent a barrage of missiles. Can I do that again? Oh, wow. That is really cool. So those missiles are so cool. I want to shoot them at something. So why not just another submarine? All right, here we go. It is time for the attack on another sub. Shoot the missiles. Oh, we got some hits there. I thought it was gonna go all underneath it. And look at this. Oh, it's starting to sink. Maybe we can get some more hits on it here. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow, okay, these missiles are extremely powerful and I'm not sure if it's broken down the middle or not yet, but it looks like it's broken in half. All right, we're gonna swim up here to take a look at that damage. Oh, wow, yeah, we definitely chopped this sub in half. There's no repairing this bad boy. 
All right, we're gonna be taking a look at one final creation in this episode of Top of the Shop, and this is the Sea Shark created by Z-Man2255. So let's bring this bad boy in. Oh yeah, let's hop into the seat here, take it for a spin. No, 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 I'm just joking. I know, we gotta put it into the water because this is a Sea Shark after all, and I guess we're just gonna take it for a spin. Oh, look at that. We got some more props on this thing. And wow, okay, this thing drives really well, super smooth. Those props are doing a great job. All right, so one is not really doing anything at the moment. And then two, I, I, it looks like we got some missiles. Is this gonna shoot missiles? Oh yeah, oh wow, it shoots all four of them in like a sequence. And look at that, it reloads them automatically too. And look, I'm holding those missiles under my arms. I'm launching them with the power of my arms. Do you see that? Now, I want to take this thing for a spin in first person here. Just to get an idea of what this is going to look like. Because this thing drives so well. And look at how close to the surface of the water it is. Wow. That looks so cool. Because you can actually see, like, the rolling waves down low like this. And it creates such an awesome effect. And now, let's see what it's like to shoot. Oh, wow. Those ones went down a little bit. I just remembered that these are the tracking missiles. Now these are some really cool modded missiles and if you don't know what they do, watch this. So wherever I point my mouse, those missiles are going to follow that point. So just take a look at this. Look at that. You can see all of those missiles are following the mouse. Now if I put the point right here in front of me, we should see, look at that. Those missiles are on the left side there. They are coming in and look. They're blowing up exactly where my cursor is. So guys, that is going to be the video for today. I sure hope you did enjoy it. Now, if you did enjoy these builds or the video, then let me know by hitting that like button. And if you want to tune in for some more Endless Scrap Mechanic, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and maybe even turn on some notifications so you can get the latest and the craziest coming from me in Scrap Mechanic. So thank you so much for tuning in and I will be seeing you in the next one. So bye for now.